something. Um, mo mo mosquitoes. Too many mosquitoes in my room. I, I need a kind of insecticide. Mosquitoes in that room? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me.
Um, why don't you just finish this one? Okay, unless you want to help me. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm full too. Okay, let's go then. Could it be that James saw when I put the poison in his drink? He was aware. Maybe his instincts gave it away. Two attempts now and I have failed. I quit. I will threaten them with the police. No, the police won't have matters. They would ask me to pay the five million naira. And there is no evidence that they asked me to kill James. I am entangled in a complex situation. May God save my soul. Good when you're never 
Sophia. So you did not come back to me. Chicken. Yes, talking. Yeah, this is Scorpio. Listen, do you really love your wife and kid? Uh, listen up. Meet me at Mayfair Restaurant. Mayfair Restaurant. Where is that? Somewhere in Musegaiki. What time? 5 p.m. on the dot. Make sure you're there. not true, Chief. We had an agreement, and I have fulfilled my own part of it. I want to take my family home. I want to see my family. Look, 
Chief Okema plays the pipe. I dictate the tone. I said you have two more jobs to do. There is another agent in Benin that deserves the same treatment as James. And I want to see this James corpse with my two naked eyes. I want the corpse brought here before I can leave. How is that supposed to be my business, Chief? You sent your men to watch me. And they came back with the confirmation that I did the job very well. What else do you want me to do? What else do you want? That is true. But I want to see James' body with my two naked eyes before I agree. My boys will go with you first flight to Abuja to bring James' course here. Yeah. Don't bother about how they do it. <laughs> Chief Okemu okay, will settle the doctors and the mortuary attendants. I want to see James Cops. First flight. You guys will go with you to Abuja. Bring James Cops to me. I want to see you with my two naked eyes before I agree. Do you understand? Good day. Oh. That was not the agreement. He's the boss. He has a final say. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, please, we are looking for the mortician. I'm the one. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you today? Fine. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, yes, uh, we are James's relatives, the late drug law enforcement officer. Oh, is that so? Mm -hmm. I believe you have been informed that we're coming. Yes, of course. Uh, we're just coming in from Lagos and we want to carry the cops now. When I had Ayub back home, I made the arrangement for you to carry the cops. Thank you. That's really nice. And I hope you've been taking good care of the cops. Of course. We, this is our watchword. We take the best care of cops here. So now can we go and carry the cops? If you excuse me, I'll get inside and get the keys. <laughs> Officer, they are here. They say they want to see the cops. All right. Take them to the mortuary. O2, O2, they are here. Do your voice now. You are moving right into the mortuary. Advancing, over. Advancing, over. Let me go inside and open the doors for you. Wait here.
my son go. Please release my son from me. Agnes, so you think I'm on this road, eh? You think I'm on this road? You think Chifo Kelma is on this road? We had an agreement. I came to my own side of the agreement. You, you ran away. Forgetting that you owe me one. Are you giving me your kumbi kumbi now? So that you can save your son's life. Oh, what about my husband? Ah, it's not for you. Huh? For me, I can give your husband a little time more to pay me back. It's all in your hand to save your life. Even why am I? Why do I have to pay for this thing? Eh? After all, you, you promised. Eh? After all, you promised. Okay, but yes, proceed to the bed. Proceed to the bed. I'm going to the Proceed to the bed. Proceed to the bed. Take it.
this is Chief Isi Kote Bo Bakasiaya Niko Kenwa. The million years ago, I need link you, Bonile. Am I speaking to Asolok? Okay. Uh, please put me through to Uncle Wabe. Ah! Oh. What of my friend uh, Abubak? My friend, move! Ha! Okay, tell them I'll call back later. Uh, I'll call back later. You don't know who you are dealing with. Scorpion! What are you doing with these people? Oh, chief, yes. yeah. So like you are the Judas that betrayed your Lord? <laughs> oh, chief, you see, it's all about Lisa. Remember her? The girl you raped. <laughs> I told you she was my sister. And I told you you were going to pay for this. You're paying for your sins. Did you know that you can say that again? Blood of Jesus! Blood of Jesus! Holy Ghost fire! Is this not James? It looks like. Are you not supposed to be dead? As you can see, I am not dead, you fool. What were you thinking? You sent my best friend to kill me so you can continue your drug trafficking business? <clears throat> Too bad for you. He came and told me everything. With the help of Scorpion here, we set you up. The days are numbered. Huh? Take him away. But look, we, we can talk about it. Move, please. Move. move. We can, we can stop. Put him in the car. Take him away. I was out there trying to kill my best friend just so that you and my son will leave. You were here cavorting with the enemy. There's no one happened. Let me explain. Explain what? Ex explain what? But I got both of you red handed. Look at you, Agnes. Look at you. <laughs> Didn't you tell me he was your boyfriend? Yes, he was. But he never touched me. And you know it. That's why you married me a vengeance. So you have decided to become a whore now? Because I'm ashamed of you! I'm ashamed of you! What's going on here? That was the way I found her and chief in bed. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me. Please believe me. He never touched me. Please believe me, I'm through with my life. He never touched me. He never touched me. <laughs> Also heard what she has to say, and she has told us that the man did not get to touch her before we got there. Then what was she doing naked with him? Which means if we hadn't come when we did, she probably would have slept with him. No, he was forcing me. He threatened the life of our son and you. He 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 forced you. Listen to yourself. He he forced you. No, he was. Yes, he was forcing you. But did we, did we didn't see you struggling with him. Neither did we hear you screaming. You were enjoying it all, soaking it all in. I can't even look at you. It, it's like looking at that. Ex excuse me. Chicken. Still excuse me. understand what you must feel like, you know, if um, 
if one has a promiscuous wife. But you see, in this case, nobody can prove that she actually slept with a man. Maybe. But she was about to, given a little more time. Look, let me, let me ask you a question, okay? Your life and your son's life put together on one side and your wife's dignity on the other side. Which is more valuable to you? Yeah, tell me. Well, look, that, that comparison is not fair. But it is. It is. You and your son die and your wife does not sleep with another man. Or your wife sleeps with another man for both of you to leave. Come on, Chike, open your eyes. Your wife laid down her dignity so that you can leave. Well, that's a sacrifice. Besides, she did not even do it. But what she would have done is so that you would leave. Okay, what, what about those other women who sell their bodies to feed their husbands and their children? Has anybody disowned them? Look, James, I can see that you've taken sides with her, whether she did right or wrong. Well, that's you. As for me, I will not forgive her. Let's just retire for the night. I am bushed. I must leave now. You know, my wife needs to set her eyes on me. Okay. You know, I've been talking to her on phone, but she, she needs to see me. I want to see her too. <laughs> it's all right. Um, I want to thank you for everything, James. It's okay. Thank God it's all over. Yeah. You know, I just, I just wish you put it all behind you and forget the whole incident. Okay. Okay. James. James, it would be very difficult. What do you mean? Oh, look at you. You came to Abuja to kill me in my own house. I mean, if you had the opportunity, you would have killed me. Here I am, in your house. I have forgiven you because I know the circumstance was beyond you. Come on, Chiki, why don't you see your wife's case like that? James. James, let's just drop the smart, okay? Let's let's forget it, please. Oh. Okay. I wish you luck then. Let me walk you to the gate. James, breakfast is ready. Derek. Ah, has it gone? Yes, it has gone. But I told him not to. I've already... You can now go, pack your things, and go back to your father's house.
came to our house this morning and told us certain things. He even asked us to come down to his house immediately. Please, my daughter, is there anything the matter? First of all, go and call him. Papa, he's not at home now. We will wait. And while we wait, we may as well hear your own side of the story. Uh -huh. Tell me what actually happened between you and that chief. Uh -huh. My daughter, please tell me. Papa, Mama, this is a surprise to me because it is assuming a dimension I do not understand. Anyway, if you must know, this is what happened. Unfortunate that you should conclude like this. Anyway, I have made up my mind that Agnes should go with you. That's the way it is. Oh. Chicken, our in-law. It is true you have made up your mind ever before you invited us to your house. But Chicken, I would like to ask you one or two questions. Chicken, do you remember you married my daughter, your wife, as a virgin? Chike, are you not aware she was friendly with Chief before you married her? Yet, she didn't sleep with Chief for one day. Why then do you think she can do such a thing this time around? Mama, please. Please. People do change, of course. Anyway, I have made up my mind. Meanwhile, Chuma stays with me. Excuse me. Chikemon is it? Chikemon am I done to you? Chikemon am I done to you?
annoys me most is that what you are being accused of is what you didn't even do. Didn't I tell you that men would always be men? Whether you are a virgin or something does not matter to them. Anyway, I don't intend to insult your husband, but he's nothing but a he goat. Julie, mm -hmm. how come on Julie? How can you call my husband a goat? What's this? Because he doesn't understand that you did it for him, even if you do it. Ah! Julie, you don't understand. Mm. My husband is too jealous. Mm. That's his fault. But he's a nice man. A nice man indeed. Spare me this. So tell me, where are you now? Where? Have you dropped two more off in school? Yes, sir. Baroka, two more cried and cried and cried. In fact, he's calling the mother. Don't worry. My son will get used to his mother not being around. Okay? Even the sixth teacher said Juma is not happy. She said I should call you for her. I don't think I have that kind of time. My son will get used to his mother's absence in a short time. Okay, okay. I'm off to work. Lock up after me and don't forget to go and pick Juma on time, okay? That's okay. Yes, Jima is in the hospital, sir. Sorry for meeting this morning, so the school principal asked me to take him to the school hospital. Yes, sir. Can you come over to the school? All right, sir. Bye bye. Psychological, like the doctor said, he needs his mother. Thank you very much, Mrs. Edu. You've done more than enough for us. But please, could you do me one small favor? Could you call his mother to come over and see him? Why don't you do that yourself, Mr. Chike? Well, uh, I don't want to do it myself on grounds of personal principles. And I don't want to do it again. I've called her and she said I should call you. Well, I don't know how to advise you on this. I have to rush back to school. Just look after him. Let me walk you to the pool. Yes, may I help you? Um, I'm afraid Chuma is not feeling fine. And I think he wants to see you. <laughs> so you want a hard lot to come and see your son, isn't it? Well, I've already heard about his illness. And I want to tell you that I'm not coming. I'll hold you responsible should anything happen to him. Now I am warning you. Don't you ever call this number again. <laughs> Good when you never have to 
see you and know how you people are getting along and then when I got to the airport I decided to call and then that's when you told me to come down here my sister that is the way the whole thing turned out <sighs> so what are you going to do about Chuma you just can't ignore him especially now that he's sick Oluchi I've already made up my mind to go there and take my son Hey, 
Do you thank God? Hey! In fact, if you open my heart, then I'm happy. I'm happy because I know say, okay, okay, go happy very well. Try to do it. Do you find it? Do you thank God? Hey! Thank God, do you know? Where are you going? Where are you going? Do you want to go to Uganda now? Do you want to follow you? Where are you going? With him up to this morning, and you know he's sick, so I had to bring him here. You didn't have to take him away from the house. Of course, I have every right to take me. He's also my son, and he needs me. I want to see my son. No, you cannot. Why not? Because he's in the hospital. Which hospital? I don't know. Good day, and don't show your face here anymore. Jesus. Which hospital? Agnes, don't you think you can allow me to see his son? He came to take my son away and I will not allow him. Agnes! Agnes, which was... Maybe he has realized his mistakes and is looking for a way to make up. Yes. Well, mom, he asked for his son. He didn't realize anything. Okay. Agnes, I'm going to be on my way very soon to see him, to give him a message from James, and I would like you to accompany me. What? Agnes, I would advise you. Do you know what you're saying? Life is sweet, life is good When you never have to choose Between the ugly and the bad I am lonely Never been this lonely since I got married I want to be with my son and my wife, but it's still very difficult to forgive her. No, I will not. Committing adultery when my son and I faced death, no, I will not.
Excuse me, Oka. Oka, may I go prepare your food? No. No. Um, I'm lonely. Lonely. I just want to hold somebody. My wife has done with, with my son. say is true that when you point an accusing finger at another four other fingers point back at you that is what i have come to explain Mama. spare me you don't owe me any explanation that should go to your wife agnes but incidentally she's not at home she went to stay with her friend but don't ask me where because i don't know well excuse me mama what of Oluchi? She left for Abuja this morning. Chike, if you wouldn't mind, I'm busy in the kitchen. Excuse me!
You should be in police custody. Mr. Chief, remember I'm not a drug dealer. I'm only chief's assistant. But tell that to the Marines. Anyway, I hope they convict him very soon so that he'll rot in jail. Instead of praying for the man that gave a wife to me that lent you five. Instead of paying back, what did you do? You set him up. I know, Chief. So what about this case? I know he'll be free and he'll get you, no matter how long it takes. You see, what pays him so much is, among all the ladies he came across, it was only your wife that I couldn't sleep with. He respects your wife. You've got a good wife. And that's the reason why he gave you that money. Resigned from the office. Resigned? Why? The sexual harassment has reached its limit. My boss told me to choose between him and getting one million naira or I leave. So I chose to leave. I never slept with any man before I married you. And I will not do it now. Except doing it to save your life or our son's life. And the moment I do it, honestly, I'll commit suicide. Wish I had someone to show and point to me where I should go. And the road I follow will only lead to. crashing down within the twinkle of an eye, even when God gave us victory of my son's demise. Shouldn't I have forgiven my wife? Papa, she didn't commit any offense. God, I've been a fool not to have listened to all those that advised me to leave the matter. Where do I find my wife to apologize to her? Everything must know.
morning. Good morning, Julie. Is your husband in? No, he's not. Actually, it's you I came to see. Please, do you know where my wife Agnes is? So I should be asking you that question. Come on, Julie. You know Agnes and I have a little problem. That's why I've come here to discuss it with you. So you can help me talk to her. Can I come in? Sorry, um, you can see I'm busy. Excuse me. James, hey, it's me, Chike. James, I know I have been very stupid, foolish and very selfish. And it was because of my selfishness that I did not listen to your advice. Please, I don't know where my wife Agnes is. And I want you to help me talk to her. Um, Chike, I, I honestly don't know what to say. Um, you know, this is not a matter that we can discuss over the phone, yeah? So maybe you should just come into Abuja, okay? Let's talk about it. Okay. I'll come into Abuja Saturday with a morning flight. Okay then. in the fact that she wanted to sacrifice her dignity to save my son's life and mine. I should have appreciated it, but I, I was moved by selfishness. In the end, out of drunkenness, I did what I actually accused her of. James, please. Can you help me talk to her? Huh, honestly, Chike, I, I really don't know what to say. You know, I... And you, James. I owe you an apology. In spite of your help, I... Under pressure, I came here to kill you. Thank God for intervening. Yet you understood and bore me no grudges. I failed to understand that my wife wanted to do that under pressure. God, I, I was selfish, very selfish. 
James, please. Please forgive me. Well, Chica, there's, um, there's really not much to say other than experience is the best teacher. I'm sure you've uh, learned from your mistakes. You know? Just give me a moment. Aluchi! Darling! Did you call me? Yes. Incidentally, my wife and I have been speaking with your wife and um, you must thank God for the kind of wife that you have. She's very loving and understanding. There are very few women like her. And then uh, if you look behind me, I'm sure that you see your wife. I've already forgiven you. 